Andy and Debbie were a young couple with a new baby girl and a full life ahead of them. They had proudly purchased their first house in 2010 and life was good. Three years later, Andy had an undiagnosed disease, preventing him from working. I met them in 2013 when they had four months of savings left. My job? Sell the house before they ran out of savings and sell it for enough money to clear the mortgage. Meanwhile, their neighborhood was experiencing an upswing in REOs and short sales and a lowering of property values. How many of you have clients like Andy and Debbie? We were able to sell their house for enough money to clear their mortgage. They didn't make any money, but they were out clean, and that was a good outcome in a difficult situation. And if you've had clients in similar situations, you know it can be stressful. But here's the thing. That good outcome would not have happened if AAR had not worked hard the previous 10 years to stop a proposed real estate transfer tax. Under that tax, Andy and Debbie would have been required to pay about $1,000 in taxes on the sale of their house. $1,000 they didn't have. That $1,000 tax would have forced them into short sale, and even with a short sale, they would have been liable to pay a transfer tax at close of escrow. Interestingly, under the transfer tax rules, REOs didn't pay the tax. Fortunately, Arizona voters had already approved a realtor-sponsored constitutional amendment banning transfer taxes at the state, county, and local levels. AAR had also helped secure legislation in 2010 prohibiting transfer taxes to developers and other third parties at close of escrow. So the next time you hear the word RAPAC, Remember all the Andes and Debbies. Remember your AAR representative works hard to educate the legislators on bills of importance to realtors. Remember RAPAC protects your clients, your real estate business, and all Arizonans. And most of all, remember, we cannot do this without you.